You're not angry at me because I'm not wearing that shirt, are you? No, we're about to go live, though. Okay. No, you're good. You look good in that. Hey, thanks. You look good in that. I told David, I said, I said I'm weird about wearing new shirts. No, you got to stay. You got to you gotta stay. Hey, welcome into Maysville High School, everybody. Will Ford here with Aaron Sprague. And Aaron, the final four is here, man. Woo! And uh, it's the first time in 53 years for these Maysville Panthers. It's uh, I mean, unbelievably exciting for Southtown. But we've got a pep rally here tonight, so we're ready to rock and roll, man. It's going to get loud in here real quick. All of Southtown is here, I think, and rightfully so. First time at the state tournament since 1971, and they did it about as dramatically as you could do it with that regional tournament last weekend down at OU. It's, it was an unbelievable atmosphere. Just watching those highlight videos, man, I mean, it doesn't do it justice. I mean, I wasn't there, but you had to be there to experience oh. That's what I heard from everybody. Yes. I mean, that game-winning shot from Alex Bob, I mean, that is, that's something the kids dream of every yeah, single day. Yeah, abs absolutely that, unbelievable. You, you are picturing that in your mind in the parking lot or, or in your driveway, counting down. And for Alex to do that, he's had an unbelievable career. But for that moment to happen, you're down 18 against Bishop Hartley. And then you're down 15 against Warren. I mean, it's just two unbelievable comebacks. I mean, their story has been unbelievable, but it's not done yet. No, so. it's not done. I mean, they're going to go to Dayton and try to uh, knock off Shelby and get to the state final. That game is Saturday at 2. Uh, but we are excited to be here for the pep rally. It's going to start at 7.30, run till about 8. And uh, it's going to get pretty exciting. I did want to point this out before we get going. So we have these posters to give away. And the uh, the players are going to autograph these after the after the pep rally. So notice all of our sponsors on there. Will will mention them here in a little bit. But we got that, and we also no one knows this. We have well, one we have 400 of these. We have 400 exclusive Big Shot Bob t-shirts to give yes. away no one knows about that yet we're gonna announce that at the end of the pep rally so everybody watching at home has just now learned about yes it, but but the people here tonight have no idea they they look pretty awesome by the way yeah it's gonna um, be cool yeah. uh you know alex has hit a lot of big shots in his career he's uh he's earned the name that, he's, he's earned the name sure. he's a community favorite everyone loves him so why not programs all-time leading score but Will, it's fun. I mean, the Final Four is a special time. It doesn't happen clearly every year, at least not yet. It's been a while. It's been five decades for Five that. decades, so you got to, you just got to live it up, so we got to do it right. They don't call it March Madness for nothing. I mean, oh. the NCAA tourney starting today, men's and women's, and then I mean, we got the Final Four this weekend for these Panthers, so March Madness, it's here, man, and it's been madness for the last month for them with oh, these yes. two great wins. Yeah, it's, so. it's been a heck of a run, heck of a run. If you can, get to Dayton Saturday. You just got to go. If you're a Zanesville resident, a basketball fan, a Maysville alum, get to Dayton because it's just a cool experience. So that would be my advice. Hopefully you enjoy the pep rally tonight. We're going to do an, a variety of things, but really it's a lot of talking and celebrating what this team has accomplished. And at the end, we will have the debut of our mini movie about the Maysville Panthers' journey to the Final Four. So the band's getting ready to start, Will. I'll let you take it over. We'll probably just tune into the band and check out this massive crowd. I do want to thank anyone that's ordered any apparel from us. Uh, certainly appreciate that. That's all getting picked up today, tonight at the school. If you can't make the pickup tonight, tomorrow during school hours, okay? All right, band's going to get started. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it, man. We're going to get started here in a few minutes. The band's going to be playing. Uh, so... I'll be quiet for a few minutes. We'll let the band get started. It's 53 years since Maisel's been in the Final Four. Uh, and it's unbelievable, man. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, and see, those two games against Warren and Bishop Hartley, just, you're down 18 and you're down 15 uh, in the second half. You come back and win. Uh, that is the true definition of Warren Madness right there. Uh, and there's, there's nothing better, man. That's, Something that you dream of when you're a kid. Uh, here I am talking about the playing in those games. It's super, super cool. Um, I want to thank our sponsors tonight uh, that Aaron pointed out on our exclusive posters that we made. We have City Tire, Community uh, Bank, uh, Brent Maxwell with Fundraising University, Zane State College, Williamson Insurance, Precision Infant, uh, Shriver's Pharmacy, and Max Shepard also. Uh, and then our, our feature sponsor for video that we're showing near the end of our live stream tonight, the Sam Corona Team Cross Country Mortgage. So, 
We'll get started here with our pep rally here in a few moments. But thanks so much for joining us live on Facebook, X, and YouTube with Storied Rivals Sports Media uh, coverage of this pep rally here tonight to just get some hype going in South. I mean, not that they need it. They're, they're, all, they're a terrific uh, group of parents, fans, uh, and group of kids and a, and a great school with great history and it's been five decades since they've been to this point So of course they're gonna be hyped and we're gonna help them out tonight But once again, thanks to our sponsors City uh, City Tire Community Bank Fundraising University with Brent Maxwell Zane State College Williamson Insurance Precision Roofing Shriver's Pharmacy Max Effort Muscle uh, and then uh, Sam Cronin and the team at Cross Country Mortgage sponsoring our video that we're putting out uh, debuting tonight on the live stream and then it'll be out on YouTube for you to watch as well uh, but I'll step aside for a moment and we'll get started with our pep rally here in a few minutes Will Ford back here with you with Storied Rivals Sports Media live on Facebook, X, and YouTube. Really appreciate you making us part of your night to hype up uh, these Maysville Panthers here in Southtown tonight. We're going to get started with our pep rally once again here in a couple minutes at around 7.30, so two or three minutes before uh, the man Aaron Sprague takes over and leads you uh, through this wonderful night that we've got planned for you. But 53 years since the Maysville Panthers have been in the state final four, and an unbe unbelievable journey to this point um, against Bishop Hartley. I mean, the Panthers trailed uh, at halftime by 18, and Jordan Watson scored all 18 of his points in the second half. That game ended with Alex Bob banking in a three, and then down 15 to Vincent Warren. Uh, and Gator Nichols this time, another role player, uh, he scored 15 second-half points to help propel the Maisel Panthers uh, to yet another victory and to uh, win a regional championship for the first time in over five decades. Uh, so here in a moment, we're gonna pass it over to Aaron Sprague to take you through the festivities this evening. But once again, our sponsors, City Tire, the Community Bank, Fundraising University with Brent Maxwell, Zane State College, Williamson Insurance, Precision Roofing, Shriver's Pharmacy, Max Effort Muscle, and the Sam Cronin team of Cross Country Mortgage uh, is our sponsor for tonight's uh, all-encompassing video for the Maisel Panthers, their journey to this point this year. But let's throw it over to 
Aaron Sprague, and we'll get this one started. So, Check, 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 check. We loud enough? Am I loud enough? No. Which one, Pat? Check, check, check. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. South Cal, what is up? Glad to see you all made it tonight. Glad to see a lot of blue and of course the black for the blackout tomorrow. My man Greg Gibson has a couple of things to say, a couple of people we want you to meet tonight. Meet, yeah, both yeah, both of them. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I just got one thing to say first. How about them Panthers? Yeah! Woo! All right, we're gonna introduce the cheerleaders first. First up, the senior, Aiden Hernandez. <laughs> senior, Heather Montgomery. <laughs> senior, Devin Thompson. Yes, senior, yes. Kenzie Van Meter. <laughs> Junior, Alexia Steiner. Junior Destiny Warden. <laughs> Sophomore Cabri Beach. <laughs> Sophomore Riley Wilson. <laughs> Sophomore Kaylee Zinn. <laughs> and Penny the Panther. <laughs> Assistant Coach Madison Wolf. 
And your fearless cheerleading coach, Miss Amanda Merlo. And now for your state bound Maysville Boys Basketball. First of all, boys, Aspen Dickerson, Crew Carnes, and Gabe Brown. Katie, have him come this way. And now for the players, sophomore number one, Gavin Ferguson. Number five, sophomore, K.P. Kroll. Number 11, sophomore, Landon Hayden. Number 12, sophomore, Slade Shree. Sophomore number 21, Cohen Llewellyn. Sophomore number 22, Alex Ray. Number 33, Sophomore Owen One thing I want to say about these guys standing over here, they don't get a whole lot of playing time, but I watched them practice. These boys that play most of the game, they would never be the boys they are if it wasn't for them guys right there. Let's give them one more big round of applause. Next up, number 20, sophomore, Kate Rock. Number 23, sophomore, Kane Rory. Sophomore, number 24, Jordan Watson. Sophomore, number zero, Gator Nichols. Now for the seniors, number two, senior Wesley.
That's good. All right, let's hear it for these guys one more time for real. Regional champions. Special thanks to the voice of the Panthers, Greg Gibson, for lending his uh, voice tonight for one final introduction here in the Maysville home gym. You know, first game of the season, now I self-admittedly couldn't make it to every game. I kind of wish I could, obviously. But I wasn't the first game of the season. I came in, and you know how the first game of the season goes, at least I know how it goes. A lot of people are in the holiday mode, coming off of football. No one's all that excited yet. But I walk in game one, and I'm like, is this the NBL title game tonight? Or is this the state final? And I, I remember telling myself, they're really drinking the Panther Kool-Aid down here. The bright blue Kool-Aid, because you guys love your Panthers and love basketball. You showed up game one, and you certainly showed up last weekend in Athens. So that is, I mean, there are no Fairweather fans here. No Fairweather fans here. You know, I will admit, I'm a John Glenn guy, it's where I came from, right? And I saw what they did back in 2016, but man, I tell you what, I don't know if I want to say it's better, but you guys definitely rival that energy of the crowd. This small community has stepped up huge to support this team, and we need you, of course, in Dayton on Saturday, okay? I now want to introduce this guy over here, Pat Miller, a Maisel guy through and through, a Hall of Famer in his own right, and someone that bleeds blue and gold, no doubt about it. He knows something a little bit about winning, a little bit about basketball, and certainly uh, community here at Maysville. Let's go! Now, I just, um, I just want to say a few words and. Um, I, I'm so grateful for this community because, you know, I grew up in this community, been here all my life. Um, I didn't expect anything less out of you guys down in Athens. And I expect the same when we go up to the state this Saturday. Everybody's going to show up, right? There ain't going to be nobody left in this town. I mean, I can't say enough how you guys show up here at our games. You've showed up all year long. Um, I was around when uh, Mr. Galloway and the 71 team went to state. I was eight years old. And I remember going to St. John Arena and watching them play. Very exciting time. It was a fun time. It was a long time ago. But I'm so excited for these guys right here. I mean, I can't say enough of these guys. They let me be a very, very, very tiny part of what they do. And it's just been exciting to just go along for the ride with them. You guys have all come along for the ride. And Saturday, I expect no different. It's going to be a blackout up there. And the Shelby Whippets are going down Saturday. I'll see you all up there. All right, thanks, Pat. And he's right. He's right. Saturday's going to be exciting. Anybody know what a Whippet is, by the way? It's a dog. One last thing. New Township, baby, right over there. New Township. Woo! Love it. Thanks for all they do. You guys know the Newton Township Fire Department is unbelievable support as well, everything they do. I think they're going to be busy the next couple days as well as we've got to get this team out of town and on the road to Dayton. Next, we want to introduce, now look, it's been 53 years since the Final Four. I mean, we had to really dig back through the archives, but we didn't have to go too far to find a member of that team. Mr. Steve Galloway, come on up. There you go, buddy. Thanks, yes, sir. Thank you. Sure do appreciate uh, Pat. It wasn't that long ago, was it? <laughs> yes, it was. 53 years is a long time. But anyway, I just want to say thank you to Coach Brown and Coach Cox for inviting me down here tonight. And uh, I got the bug a couple years ago. My wife and I started coming to every game, and uh, it's just amazing. Uh, these boys over here are, are so much fun to watch. Their, their energy, um, believe it or not, Gator, I had hair back then, too. 
It might not have been as pretty as yours, but it was almost as long. So you got this to look forward to. But anyway, I just want to say uh, how thrilled I am. And down at the Convo, it just brought back so many memories for me. Uh, you know, we played four games over at Muskingum College and two games down at uh, Athens. And, uh, and then we got beat in the state semifinals. But uh, I know these boys aren't going to get beat. They're going to bring that title back here. I got the privilege of coming down here the Tuesday to practice, and uh, we're out in the hallway there talking, and uh, Coach Brown says, well, I've got I've to get ready for practice. So Jared, Jared and I are out there talking, and we heard a basketball in here, and it's 45 minutes before practice starts. And uh, we, we came in the gym, and there's half the team already in here 45 minutes shooting basketball. So. You know, that's why they're so damn good. Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, Coach Cox hands me this practice. Uh, he said, you want a practice schedule? I said, well, what do you mean a practice schedule? You know, we didn't do this back when I played. We were, all I remember doing is running line drills and taking charges. You that's about all we did. Uh, well, but he's done, like, every five to seven minutes, these guys were thing, right? doing s a nice new thing. drill. Yeah, you're gonna help me with that. And uh, yeah, you talk about that. getting after yeah, it. Yeah, and and there's no the goofing around. There isn't any uh, standing so around. So you come and up that's you why come that's up. why oh, they're so good. And I I just want to say thank you, and I'll see everybody down in Dayton. Right? Thank you. Steve, I want to ask you real quick. Don't leave. You know, now, I don't want to ask your age. I can do the math probably if I figure it out. But all these years later, how special was that to you? How much do you hold that dear to your heart? Because I know these guys are going to have a memory for a lifetime. Uh, these guys don't know what's going on. I mean, it's 53 years, and I'm still reaping benefits of play, playing in the state tournament. So... Steve Galloway, Steve Galloway. Awesome, thanks so much, Steve. Love to hear from you. Connect the dots and tie back to the roots. Now we have Miss Katie Brown to say a few things. All right, so I would like to thank, first of all, everyone in the community from our family, from our basketball family, from the Maisel Local School District for all the support that you guys have given us. So anyone who has given to the Maisel Boys Basketball Program this season, could you please stand? Let's give them a round of applause. We, none of this would have been possible without all of their help and their support. So thank you very much. They donated rally towels, student tickets for the student buses, meals, all different types of things. So thank you, community, from all of us. We really appreciate you. Yeah, she's right. This, that's, it's a small town America that's fine. She's right. Without the support of all your, all your businesses and, and you supporting those businesses, that's how this works. The team does their part. They practice. They work hard. The coaches do their part. And then the community does their part. You show up and you support. It's super huge. So also thanks to anyone that's bought t-shirts from us and everyone else that sold t-shirts. You guys have enough shirts to last a while, hopefully. But it does mean a ton. So thanks so much for doing that. Moving right along, we need to talk to some players, I think. Learn what they're thinking. How about, uh, we need Dub. Come on up. Hey, you guys know he's the funny guy. No, he don't want. Hey, you. The rest of you guys come. You did sign up. Come on up. You guys come. You guys come. Yep. 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 You ain't hiding, Gator. Get up here. Come up. Come up here. Don't, don't be shy. Let's come up here. Get up here. Well, first of all, let's find out, does anyone actually want to talk before I, I try to dig some stuff out? Okay. I'm going to let Gator break the ice because Jordan's being shy on me now. 
But you know what? He's allowed to be shy. As long as he keeps making those shots, we're good. All right. First question, Gator. You have the best name in the state of Ohio. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a yeah. fact. We got another backstory because I think at the state tournament, when they read your name, it's going to turn some heads. So, uh, what's the backstory on Gator? Well, my dad's a big uh, Florida fan, obviously. So, my mom wasn't too happy about it. I don't think I don't think anybody was, but he still named me Gator. So, he got it right. He got it right. I know he got it right because it's such a great name. I had these kids signing autographs the other day. He just wrote straight Gator. It's like LeBron, just one word name. You know it's Gator, straight up. Uh, one more question for Gator. I mean, again, so many kids, every kid last kid on the bench, everyone's so much part of this team and that's what makes them great. But Gator, in that game Saturday, and I kind of asked you about this the other day, what was going through your mind when you were hitting those shots? I mean, were you what they call in the zone? How were you feeling? Because it was just going in and you were fired up. I mean, yeah, I'd probably say I was in the zone, really. I mean, I was, I was locked in, I guess. How do you guys feel about that? A lot of you guys are coming out of your seats. Yeah, yeah. You guys were all having a heart attack that game, and Gator was hitting those shots. But seriously, though, this is such a strong sophomore class collectively. Uh, everybody, it, you know, the team in, it, in general is, is very strong. But the way these guys are playing uh, like seniors, and we can't forget, and while Jordan doesn't want to talk, right? I'll talk, sir. All right, he's going to talk. All right, we're getting to it one second. But we all know what he did Thursday night, right? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he, he figured stuff out a little bit. Um, and, you know, we're all happy Alex hit the shot, right? Right? He stole all the thunder from Jordan, but we're happy he hit it, right? So, Jordan, what do you got for me today? I know you're over here thinking about something clever because you always got something. What do we got? Uh, I, just, I just love my community, man. I love them. I love it. All right, we good? Are you, you guys, we're good? All right, we're good. All right, that's the sophomores. All right, thanks so much, guys. Super cool. I want to talk to, well, first of all, all seniors come up. And again, I really hate leaving kids out, but we'll talk to the seniors here. All right. So I'm going to start with Mr. West, defensive specialist, is that what you call yourself? I suppose, yeah. But he figured out how to shoot threes in the off season, is that accurate? I suppose, yeah. Hey, again, he performs on the court, it's fine, he doesn't need to talk. Um, but Wes, tell me how tight knit the senior group is though, for real, I mean, you guys are, are chill. You're cool, you're buddies, you've grown up together. Just how tight are you guys? I mean, we're, we're probably as tight as they come, honestly. Um, you know, we've been uh, playing together ever since we were three years old. So, I mean, I mean, it's, it's just we've been playing together for so long. You know, you grow those connections, and it, it translates onto the court, and you can really tell. Sammy, my man, Sammy. So, Sammy, man, I love this kid. I think everyone loves this kid, right? Man, he's... He's special. He's special for a lot of reasons, but he is, he is the best hype man that you could find. The ultimate teammate you can find. Selfless teammate. He's the first guy cheering, loves his brothers, loves his team, and you, you can't buy guys like Sammy. You just can't, right? So pay attention. If you haven't seen our videos or haven't seen him live, he is the first guy going, and that's what gets the rest of the guys going. So again, Sammy, how do you approach a game with that mentality? to be Mr. Energy, Mr. Positive, and do your part? I mean, I know somebody got to do it, so why not me? I got to step up for these guys, get them going. So, and the community behind me always helps too. I mean, me on the bench, but these guys are louder behind me, so it's always fun. Amazing, amazing. Again, amazing teammate, guys. Prime example of how to do things right. Cohen Fink. Told me the other day I'm not much of a scorer, but man, he pulled a three down there at Claymont, and coach is like, oh, no. oh yeah, we like that. We like that from the corner. 
We like that from the corner. I, I could hear Coach on the mic, and I thought the same thing. I'm like, Fink's shooting a three. Oh, oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. But he, he told me that the other day. He's not, a, he's not an offensive player. But what's great about this team, they know their roles extremely well. Cohen, we all know what you do, but let the people know what you do out there in the court because you find a way to be extremely valuable. Uh, I'd say I just do all the dirty work. <laughs> Absolutely, but someone has to do it. Tell me about the challenge this week. They keep getting tougher and tougher, just like Hartley. Bigger, faster, stronger, perhaps, Shelby. It's a big, big lineup, but um, how excited are you for that challenge to, to give it another go? True competitors always like a, another challenge, so uh, I think we're happy to face somebody that's better, and we're going to take them on just like we did, uh, trust each other, and play just as hard as we did in the last two games. Absolutely. Does anybody know who this guy is? This guy? No? He's hit a couple shots in the state. Alex, Bob, we love him, no doubt about it. Big shot, Bob, right? Big shot, Bob. He's hit a lot of them. And he embraces it, I love it. Alex, we all gotta ask the shot. Tell me about that play that saved the season and uh, these people are never gonna forget it. Well, yeah. Uh... Obviously, a lot of people see the shot on uh, all the videos, ESPN and all that, but they don't really see how much other people contributed to even get me in the opportunity to shoot that shot. And then, again, I came off the screen from Cohen to even get open to get the ball in my hand. So there's a lot more that goes into it than me just letting the ball go. How do you explain your confidence? You guys are all confident, but, man, you never think you're going to miss a shot. How do you explain your confidence to all these little kids watching of how to just be so confident that you're going to, not that everyone should pull it from the logo, all right, we don't encourage that, but he's so confident it's always going to go in. Just how, do, how do you visualize that and how do you approach the game that way? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a true testament to uh, my teammates. I mean, a lot of people know, maybe not, but right before I went out on that last play, every single one of them looked at me and told me I was going to hit that shot. So, I mean, it's nothing but love for my teammates, and I think that gives me all the confidence in the world to go out there and play like I do every night. Absolutely. Guys, there's a reason this team wins. There's a reason. The reason they win, they are very good at basketball. Understand that. They are very good at basketball. There's no doubt. They are awesome people. Smart, intelligent, loving, right? And it's just a fact. It's just a fact. Look, I've seen a lot of teams over the years, a lot of teams, a lot of good teams, the key ingredient, 100%, without a doubt, if I was to write a book, it's what Coach Dave Brown preaches from day one. We got to love each other and we got to be a family. That is the number one key, I guarantee it. They'll figure out the rest, but this team has that ingredient. And it starts with Coach Brown at the top, and then these guys all have bought into it. So that's really the key ingredient right there. All right. We got something. I've been wanting to do this shirt all season. Hold that up, Alex. So we got our own official Big Shot Bob t-shirt. He signed it here. Thanks to our wonderful sponsors on the back. And here's the best news of all. We're giving away 400 of those shirts at the end of the night. Okay. So for free 400 shirts, we'll give them away over there at the end of the night, okay? But because, first of all, how do you like the name Big Shot Bob? That is a lot of freaking pressure. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's all right. I try not to pay attention to it too much. But <laughs> I got you. I mean, that's what a lot of people call me, so I just go with it. All right, so we're going to keep this moving, but here's what we want to do. Alex, Bob, will well, the Panthers will never play another game in this gym. But we'll never see Alex, Bob take another Logo 3 in this gym until tonight. He is going to shoot a couple, and we're going to make a little challenge. Is there any high school kids here that want to compete against Alex? All right, give me, give me three. Give me three of you big guys. Matt Owen, Matt Owen, Baker. Matt Owen and, Baker. and Baker. Matt Owen and Baker. All right, Bob, put on the shirt to shoot these things. Yeah, we're going to move the screen. Yep. No, uh, you guys could cheer him on. So we're going to come over here. 
So we got the tables kind of in the way for the autograph signing at the end. So where would you rather shoot? Probably over here. You guys remember that Tri-Valley game? What was he doing? What was he doing? I mean, he hit how many threes from here back to back? It was insane. So who, let, let's go. Gosh, did you warm up at all? I mean, this is, this is, it's kind of stressful. You good? All right, so let's go. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to see if one of these guys can make a logo three. We need, back, Pat, we need a logo over here. This is, we're missing one over. We need something, something like that. Um, let's go. You guys shoot first, and then Alex, and we'll see who can make it. Now, we, we, we can't run this forever, so I'm hoping Alex just buries one and we end you guys quick. So give me a couple rebounders. Some of you little kids, come on down here. Sorry I don't know your names. So, hey, you guys are going to read. No, no, okay, that's good. Come on, come on, just a few. That's good, that's good. Thank you so much. You guys are going to rebound, okay? Not well, I say logo three. We want where Alex shoots from, which is on the wing. We got to go over here. Alex is, Alex is shot. I really want to see him hit another shot in this gym. He pulls up, where do you pull up from, Alex? Get over here, get, grab a ball, come show these guys where, where it's at. It's looking like over here. Yeah, it's like. Well, it's everywhere, let's be honest. Bob, you tell us the spot, bro. Uh, you pick the spot. All right, we're going to go right here, right from the, the volleyball line. Then we'll get moving. You guys are going to rebound for us, OK? OK. OK. Yep, you're shooting right up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right. You guys are out. What's your name? Gavin Baker. All right, Baker, let's do it again. Run it back. I can't do it again. Well, big shot Bob, he, he always steps up to the occasion. And sandals, too. That's not right. OK. All right, finish him here. Stop. Oh, wow. All right. That was close. Let's run it back again. Come on. Dude, what? <laughs> Why isn't Baker on the team, Mr. Coach Brown? I mean, geez. He's a ringer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh. Dang it. All right, one more round. We get moving. One more round. That's right, that's right. Alex Bob always wins. Big shot, big shot, Alex. We love it. All right, we're getting near the end here. Let's, uh, let's bring up the man, one of the men of the hour, both of them. Coach Dave Brown and Jared Cox. Coach Jared Cox. Two of my favorites. And they're gonna give us a pretty, uh, a pretty nice message about what we got coming up. Who do we want to go first? Coach Cox? Sure, sure. Um, I'll keep this short and sweet um, so we can get to the real stuff here. But uh, first off, how about these guys? How incredible are these guys? Um, you know, I always say, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to say, you know, I grew up in this community. I graduated from here. I had a lot of pride in Maysville. Um, and one thing I've always said about this community is every time our kids do something great, our community gets behind them. Um, and boy, have you guys really gotten behind our kids. Um, you know, we as a, as a family cannot thank you guys enough for the support that you've shown us this year. Um, you guys have been incredible. Um, so you guys should give yourselves a round of applause.
Um, and then the last thing I'm going to say is, um, you know, I said earlier, uh, I, I just want to say two things. Um, you know, we have shirt. two of the greatest weapons, uh, one to Dayton. Um, the belief that these guys have in themselves and each we other, and you guys. Um, so thank you, and see you in Dayton. Can you, can you pull out a large It's white never good when I get one of these in my hands. Away, they know I, I can talk for a long time. So um, I'm actually going to share with you large, guys no. a story that I told the guys before the regional championship. It was about Captain Charlie Plum. Yeah, who was a top it, gun as a naval so we pilot. Have, so we don't give it away. He Just flew 74 away. successful missions yeah, the team in Vietnam. On his 75th mission, he was shot down and thought, I hope my parachute was packed correctly. He was coming down out of the sky yeah. for 90 and seconds. Come, he was getting shot at the by the Vietnamese. By so he landed and was captured. He was in prison right. for 2,103 days yes, before getting video, released. Right. At the end of the video. Uh, mm -hmm. A couple of years later, he was People sitting in a restaurant with his like family, family members, and this guy come. kept That's staring at him. A couple yeah. minutes later, the guy was still That's staring great. at him, and he eventually really came want, over to his table and said, are you Captain Plum, and are you a Top Gun? He said, yes. The guy said, I am the one that packed your parachute. You know, without this guy, he would not be there. I don't want to make money off a kid. So we can never forget who packed our parachute. When I think of someone that has packed our parachute all season long, it's been our great community. It's been you guys. You're like a six man. Please give yourselves a big round of applause. You know, our kids get the best of everything because of our small businesses in our community who have given financial support and their absolute love to us all season. Yeah, clap again, yeah. This is a dream come true to our kids and our coaching staff. Uh, we are very excited to share in this experience with you guys and our kids. We got 22 weeks together, and we're proud of where we are, but I promise you one thing, we're not satisfied with where we are. We're not going to Dayton to participate. Our goal is to win the whole thing. We've told our guys the whole tournament run, we want no regrets. So we're going to give 32 minutes in the state semifinal in UD Arena of no regrets. One more. I want to thank our uh, cheerleaders real quick. Uh, you know, we're, we're very excited and very happy to have shared these special moments with you guys and, and Coach Merlot and Coach Wolf. So please give them. Another round of applause. Um, I want to shout out uh, Brittany Parker, Haley Pettit, and Alex Staten. Uh, you know, you guys have really gotten the Panther Pound going. Um, I think Brittany wanted to say a few words. She want to say a few words? Uh, give them a round of applause. And I'm going to be completely honest. You know, Big Cat said he was a tiny part of what we do. Um, honestly, he's a, he's a lot more than a tiny part of what we do. Um, he makes our job really easy. So please give him a big round of applause. Come here real quick. I want to thank my wife real quick. You know, a lot of people don't know, you know, when we had our second child, uh, she gave up coaching so I could continue to do this. Um, you know, and she, she just makes my job really easy. And she, uh, you know, being able to share, uh, you know, I've heard a lot about the hug that we had at the end of the game. Um, you know, that's a, that's a dream come true, um, to be able to do that with, with someone you love, your wife, after winning a regional championship. So, you know, please give her a big round, too. Yeah. Thank you. You know, I don't want to forget my family came tonight. You know, we appreciate, you know, they come to almost every game from Coshocton. 
Um, so we appreciate them. Um, yeah, go ahead. And I'm not going to forget Murph and the band going to state twice in one year. Hit that drum. Hit that drum. I know you guys are going to rock the place out in Dayton. And I just want one more thank you guys for everything. Uh, you know, we love you guys. And I know one thing, I can't wait to see you guys going crazy in UD Arena. So let's, let's get to the final four. That's your coach, Coach Dave Brown. We're getting close to where we're gonna, we're gonna show you a movie here in a second. But I did wanna say, again, I'm around a lot of coaches. These two guys and the fact that you support them, keep supporting them. They are the right guys for the job and they do things very special. They are a heck of a tandem. One of them's good enough. The fact you have two, the way they communicate, they're family, they're literally family, and it's all strictly business on the court. They really do a great job, and you're gonna hear a lot more from these guys down the road, there's no doubt about it. One final thing for me, and then we're gonna show this little movie we made, is do me one favor, take a second, and just kinda be in the moment. Just, just be quiet for a second. Just be quiet for a second. And just think about where we're at right now. The reason I say that is because, let's be honest, since Saturday night, we've all been pretty wired, myself included. We've been pretty excited. We can't wait for that game Saturday. I promise it'll get here, it'll come. The important thing is to enjoy this week and this moment. Mr. Galloway, I tell you, 53 years, it's taken 53 years to get back. This is very important, to go to the game, to enjoy every moment, take pictures, it's just super special. And the final thing I want to leave you with is think about all the joy and excitement you've had the last month. How happy you've been. How excited you've been to go to work and go to games and, and buy shirts. It's because of not just these guys. Think about the work they put in to get to this spot so we can all experience this kind of happiness in the gym when no one's watching, coaches watching film when no one's watching. It's hard to fathom, but I promise you, if you really think about it, think about why we're happy. They didn't win by accident. We saw what, how they played and how well they played. That is from hours and hours and years. You parents pat yourself on the back, getting these kids to practice, getting these kids to tournaments, supporting them, creating the young men that you created mentally their ability to be coached. It's a process. The process worked. It worked. So just embrace that. Be thankful for these kids and what they've done. They've worked real hard, all right? So we do have a really special movie to show you. It's unseen. I've never even seen it. I got a really good team of people that make videos. They're really good. It's about 10 minutes long. I'm going to get it set up. Cheerleaders are going to cheer. I want to say one thing here. Actually, you know what, I'll wait. But it's gonna get pretty dusty in here if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm gonna get this set up. Ladies, band, let's take it away. We'll get set up here.
We're gonna show our, our movie here for Maysville Boys Basketball, the recap of the season to this point, sponsored by the Sam Cronin team with Cross Country Mortgage. Uh, we'll kind of start at the same time. They start playing it here in the gym. Uh, but thanks so much for being here. If you've watched every minute to this point, really motivational, inspirational stuff, not only from Aaron just now, but from all the people that have spoken tonight, uh, Coach Brown, uh, Alex Bob, we got to see him hit one last shot in this Maysville gym. Uh, and it's been an unbelievable night to not, not only celebrate what they've done to this point, but hype up what they're going to do uh, in the state final four down in Dayton this weekend. Um, again, our sponsors tonight, City Tire, the Community Bank, Brent, uh, Brent Maxwell with Fundraising University, Zane State College, Williamson Insurance, Precision Roofing, Shriver's Pharmacy, Max Effort Muscle, and then here in a moment, our movie for Maysville Boys Basketball, sponsored by the Sam Cronin team with Cross Country Mortgage. These posters that Aaron designed, they're incredible. Uh, and then as you heard on the live stream, Big Shot Bob shirts as well. But here's our movie, sponsored by the Sam Cronin team, Sp Cross Country Mortgage. One of my favorite things is when Brown says in the pre-games, he's like, I would take our preparation over any team in the state. We go really hard, we get a lot of shots up, and then in season two, we have 6 a.m., we have book studies, and then the brotherhood, it kind of propels, I feel like, teams farther than just skill is when you have that extra heart and that extra brotherhood and that extra connection. And I feel like that's probably, honestly probably the biggest thing. You build a lot of trust by being vulnerable in those. I mean, you know that guy beside you is playing hard for you and you're playing just as hard for him. But I mean, all the time we put in in the summer, playing competition over and over again, and it hurts your body, but you know that you're doing it for the right thing. I definitely expected us to get to where we were last year. The goal beyond that was to get past that. And I honestly thought we could. I knew we were young. I knew it would take some time. But I figured once we got the ball rolling a little bit, the end goal was the state championship. When we come to work every day, nothing changes to our practices. They've all been the same. Our patterns are why we've got here. You know, my teammates have 100% confidence in me, so I have it in myself. And I think that trust really just helps breed that confidence because I just know that that guy, he's put in just as much hard work as I have. Because of that, I know that his ability is going to be just as great, if not better, than my own. If I can be confident in myself, I can be just as confident in him. I just think we're relentless. We just continue to just wear down on teams until they give up. It's crazy energy. We play with a lot of passion, too. I think that's what helps us win so many games. We keep pounding the stone, playing the game the right way. The results speak for themselves. A lot of us have grown up since like first grade together, being in the same class. We've hung out outside of basketball, outside these four lines so much. And I think that's truly special. Not a lot of teams have that. Well, we're all best friends, honestly, and we just like to spend as much time with each other as possible. Basketball is what I love, so it's a lot of fun. It's probably the most fun I've ever had in my life. At the beginning of the year, we had tough losses. I feel like once we got one, two rough games out of the way, we were like, okay, we know what we need to do. I think that loss specifically at Coshocton brought us close. Like, I've never seen a team more dedicated to the process than after that night. Every night we go out there and play, it has to be 32 minutes of relentless effort or else we're not going to like where we're at at the end of the year. A lot of us still had the pressure on our shoulders. And I think ever since then, we've just continuously taken steps forward, just gotten better each and every week, which has led to where we're at. 
we just kept working, and that's what's got us to this point. Looking at halftime of the JV game and it's sold out, if that doesn't get you excited for a basketball game on a Friday night, I don't know what does. It was, at the time, the biggest game that I've played in. Having the community show out like that, the environment was insane. No room for anyone to sit on our side of the section, not even tri Valleys. absurd. The community that was there, the energy that was there really helped us. It is like having a six man on the court. No matter what happens, we're getting the win tonight. And I think everybody just really laid it out there. And then us hitting shots. Alex Bob from the parking lot, man, like. It's Alex Bob. That game told us that we have something special. We can go out and do what we want to do. Our goals are still intact. And then we had some younger guys step up too in that game. It was amazing, the energy in here, the community is great here. I feel like just all the energy that our community brought, it made me play way harder, forget about pain. The atmosphere is definitely crazy. You can never thank our community enough. Yeah, they show up and fill up the convo, and they show up all the time, but they really showed up in Athens. It was crazy to be a part of. Feeling a whole side plus a little bit of the upper day. I mean, it's just awesome to look up and when you hit a big shot, make a big play. And... Every time a shot goes in, it just sounds like an eruption of an earthquake going on. I feel like we've talked about confidence a lot, but that builds your confidence too, knowing that you got all those fans around you, the crowd erupts as soon as something goes in. We weren't making a whole bunch of shots, but that wasn't it. We dug into that place deep in our heart and just poured everything out. Once you can get into that spot where you kind of throw everything out and you're not worried about making a mistake or them scoring, and you can really just focus on playing your game, then it, it just worked for us. We had to have a goal to go into the fourth quarter under 10. We're going to have to fight like hell to do that. We do that. Yeah, I like our chances. We knew the shots were going to fall. We're a good shooting team. And then Jordan, he's kind of propelled against the Bishop Hartley. Starting to be physical with him, I think that got to him. The, the rest were letting us play. So we just knew we had to play our game, knock down some key shots, and then Jordan Watson obviously was a big part of that. Once I saw a few shots go through, I knew I needed to step up. He got that confidence, and I mean, that's just a monster performance. He definitely looked possessed, diving on the floor a couple times, yelling a couple times. Jordan's guts are just like no other. He's been doing that stuff all season, and now it's finally got noticed. Hey, we're built for this. We're built for this. Let's go win this thing. Let's go. We went in the timeout, and they said, we're drawing up something new they've never seen. Before I even walked out on the floor, I had the whole team look at me and say, we're going to win this game. You're going to hit this shot. I looked at him and I said, like, I'm going out here and we're going to win. There's no other person I'd rather take the shot. I mean, it's literally his name, Big Shot Bob. You just love to see him succeed because you know when you're younger, you can tell that they're going to be good and then just finally seeing him get to that point. Amazing to have him personally as a friend. I mean, we've been friends ever since we could walk. Ever since we were little, fifth, sixth grade, like he was always the one wanting to put up more shots. He was always putting in the extra work. It's been known that he's been that guy. I told you all the kids, I told you. It was just having full belief in ourselves. They're not going to give up. They want it just as bad as us. We have to go take it. I couldn't have that on myself, having a terrible game and not being able to have another week with them. So I knew I needed to hit some key shots in the game to have one more week with them. Our toughness and the way that we love each other just brought us back into that game. When you see that next shot go in, you want to play even harder on defense. A complete accumulation of energy going up and up and up until finally we were able to break that lead and it's history from there.
obviously starts somewhere, and I think it started with Coach Brown. My brother played during his first couple years. No matter what he heard from anyone, he knew that eventually Coach Brown was going to bring success to the table. And I mean, it takes a while to, to build a culture. It's been a lot more in the last two years. It's been five, six, seven years in the making. They bought into us more than they bought into our ability as players. Focusing on us as people and trying to develop us into good people, that's had way more impact than just trying to focus on how many shots go in. It's a lot bigger than basketball to them. They really care about what we're doing outside of basketball too. I mean, they're trying to create us to be the best people we can be. It's definitely a process to get to this point and you just have to fall in love with it. I'll do whatever it takes for our team to win. I'll be on the scout team. I'll push the guys to get better. I'll, I'll do my role. I don't need all the fame and glory. I just need us to win. We haven't been in any like top 10 pools or anything like that, but now we're in the final four. I mean, I think we have to have a little bit of respect now, finally. You have to be on the line of arrogance and confidence, and you got to be pushing that line a little bit of arrogance to go out there and play how you need to play. We're just going to leave it all out there. No regrets. We're pouring everything we got out on that court. I don't think as a little kid, if you told me that we're going to the final four, I would have believed you. Just being able to have this opportunity is a blessing. It was always my dream growing up to play in a Final Four. And I get to live my dream now only as a sophomore. All of our hard work that we've put in ever since we were third or fourth grade is all, is all starting to pay off. You see like the John Glenn State Championship team, that was something I grew up around. As a little kid, that means something you dream of. Like I want to be in that same position and out we're here. I mean, it still truly hasn't soaked in yet and I don't think it will until it's all done.
Still showing sound? No. Wow. Well, we lost sound. I guess it didn't kick us back on, as so I've just been talking to nobody. I Let guess. Let me see. I usually the video puts the audio back on for us after it kicks back over. So right. I guess we've been talking to nobody for okay. a couple minutes. So, uh, now I'm tired. Well, I'll, I can re I'll, I'll recap. All right. If it, well, everyone's probably tuned off already, but um, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to tap out. I don't know, but it's, it's okay. been fun. I mean, I don't know. Um, we were having troubles with the Facebook feed. Um, I'm glad you were watching and you wanted to hear us talk. Uh, that's cool. Maybe you know, you just got to look at this, I guess. So. Right. So, oh. but yeah, autographs are going on. It's crazy, crazier than I expected. Um, with everyone getting autographs and doing their thing, but um, yeah, okay. Well, you could you could talk and wrap this up I'll if you want. I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap it but up. But we'll for see sure. everyone Saturday at two. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Aaron. Shelby on Saturday. Great event tonight. So sorry for the audio mix up there. Uh, sorry if you guys were watching and just listening to to nothing there for a few minutes. Uh, but just wanted to document this uh, this great event tonight. Uh, Maysville Boys Basketball Program has been great for a long time, but this year, first time in 53 years, making it back to the Final Four. Uh, it's been a heck of a ride, and we're just glad to be part of the journey. But a big thank you again to our sponsors, City Tire, the Community Bank, Brent Maxwell with Fundraising University, Zane State College, Williamson Insurance, Precision Roofing, Shriver's Pharmacy, Max Effort Muscle, and then also Sam Cronin and the team of Cross Country Mortgage for sponsoring our movie that we that we showed here live tonight. But thanks again, everyone.